Hi, it's Phil from Teach Blend, and in this quick video, we're going to have a look at Windows 10's inbuilt features to record as well as doing audio recording. So these are useful, for example, if you need evidence for examiners and actually to record students demonstrating a skill. I hope you find this video useful. So the first thing to do is open up the voice recorder, and to do this, you can either browse or search for voice recorder. Once you've hit the voice recorder, there's a blue button and you essentially click this and the students will demonstrate or speak out anything that they were wanting to be recorded. And you can choose pause as well if they need a break and then you can resume this as well. You can choose flags if there's key parts of that audio recording. Really useful, for example, for EVs and examiners to find particular flags within the audio recording. And you can also do this post recording as well by choosing the flag button. Once you've done the recording, you can click play and it'll play the entire recording out. And you can also do certain things such as share this if you want to email it, or you can even put it into OneDrive or OneNote, etc. as well. And you can choose trim to actually trim the video up. Really good if there's a bit at the beginning. You can choose save as well to update the original, and that will actually update the entire file, delete it, and rename the file as well. The three dots allows you to do certain things and one of the ones we're looking at is open file location. Once you've done this, you can actually copy this and then put that into things such as OneDrive. Again, this is really useful because it means then you can share this to an examiner, another teacher or even the student and have a copy of that recording in your cloud storage. So this is how you do audio recordings in Windows. Another thing you can do is video recording. So to do this, we need to open up the camera app. So we search for camera, open up the camera app, and it looks very similar. What you need to do is choose for video from the right hand side. And then what you can do is record students. So they could be recording them doing a presentation, for example. Once done, you click the thumbnail and this gives you the playback options that you are used to. You can then click the three dots choose open folder and this will allow you to get to the file location of that video and you can copy this and again put that into OneDrive. So if you're example recording students demonstrating some skill or a presentation you can send that then off to EVs. You can delete as well and you can also choose share where you can share this directly into OneNote or via email or with other people as well and obviously you can play back that video as well. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend, it really does help. Thank you.